Hey, what's up guys, and welcome to Xbox One. Now, you may notice we have a brand new set, but some things never change, like our love for achievements. Yeah, so we were thinking about an easy way for you to beef up your gamer score. So we found a bunch of achievements that you can complete in under two minutes that give you 100 G. So let's take a look. Considering What Remains of Edith Finch is a narrative-driven experience with a lot of walking, it's no surprise that the All Roads achievement involves walking around a lot. When you start the game, you'll be in the shoes of Edith as she explains a bit about her family and why she's come to this remote house. The All Roads achievement itself is very easy to get. When you start off, you'll need to walk down this wooded path. Eventually, you'll hit a fork in the road. Choose a path and take it before eventually reaching the house. Now it's time to be really extra and head back down the road you just walked down. I know, I know, what a good waste of precious energy. Eventually, you'll get back to the fork in the road. Now go down the other path choice. As you walk down here, you'll get that sweet, addictive achievement pop-up that lets you know you took all the roads possible. Pretty pointless, but who can say no to 100 Gs, eh? If you've never played Deadlight, you're missing a corker of a game. It's a side-scrolling survival adventure set in Seattle that's utterly swamped with undead. It's a bit like Limbo or Inside, but somehow manages to be even more violent and creepy than those two, which is pretty impressive work. What makes it even better is the 100 Gs it gives you right off the bat. You don't even have to get within sniffing distance of a zombie to earn it. Once the game starts, head right until you come to a ladder, then climb it and turn back on yourself. You'll soon come to a locker, crack it open to find a heartfelt diary entry detailing one survivor's desperate plight, and more importantly, an achievement. You can fill in both the backstory and your gamer score in one go. Dear Diary, today I found an easy way of cheesing some gamer score, and it felt great. Also, Zombies ate my family. Um, swings and roundabouts, I guess. Now, with this achievement, you're going to have to pay close attention to my dulcet tones. Let my voice take you away to a place of discovery, as I can't actually really show you how I got this achievement because it's an achievement from Drawful 2. Now, if you didn't know already, Drawful 2 requires to use a tablet or likewise to draw on whilst your Xbox shows the score between you and your mates. So yeah, a lot of the action is taking place on a different screen. So to get this achievement, start a game and put in your name in the other screen. Again, on a place you can't see right now, draw a picture of yourself. The important detail here is to make sure you use both color options. I'll tell you right now, the picture I'm currently drawing is an artistic sensation. I'm genuinely shocked at how good I am. Wow, this is, this is breathtaking, this is something else. Anyways, once you accept your masterpiece, it'll head back to your Xbox and the achievement will pop. Ah, there she is. Now that is art. Brings a tear to the eye, doesn't it? Getting shot is somewhat of an occupational hazard in tactical room clearer LA Cops. To earn this achievement, you have to somehow not get shot. But don't worry, you only have to avoid bullets for a single mission and many of the missions are nice and short. To make things nice and easy for ourselves, let's choose the first mission. Run in the door while the perps aren't looking and press left trigger to arrest them, or press X to lock on then fire with right trigger. Which approach you take is down to whether you're a nice cop who throws criminals to the judge, or a nasty cop who makes loads of work for the cleanup crew. You'll clear the hideout quickly and won't spill so much as a drop of coffee in the process, but now that's over, you don't have to worry about penalties for soaking damage, so feel free to let those bullets enter your fleshy body again. You will die, mine, but it's fine, as you've already got the achievement. Haha, <laughs> suckers. Here's another story-based achievement which is super easy to get. Playing through the beginning of Numa Breath of Life will automatically get it for you. Ah, it almost feels criminal getting achievements so easily, but at the same time, I welcome these lazy rewards. The more the better. To get in the beginning, it's a case of starting the game and going as far as you can before you hit a wall. It's quite a long walk, so think of all the things you could do in that time. You could contemplate the meaning of life, or eat some bread, or mix the two and contemplate the meaning of bread. Hmm. 
Eventually, a button will pop up. Press X on it and you'll be able to progress. Head into the big room and keep going. Eventually, you'll get to a hallway that you can't pass through. If you had left, you'll enter a room with three buttons. Press them all and you'll trigger a bridge that you can now cross. Head into the light and boom, 100 Gs heading straight into your gamer score. I wish 100 G was heading straight into my bank account, but I'll take what I can get. Now on to Pac-Man 256 and the achievement payout is surprisingly decent. A gaming legend hasn't been this generous since Major Nelson offered me a piece of gum at E3. I'm, I'm just kidding, he, he actually never offered me any gum. Getting a cool 100 Gs is as easy as starting up a local multiplayer mode and seeing it through to completion. You'll need to sign another controller in which unfortunately requires having friends but thankfully both accounts earn the achievement. Double Chivos. To your untrained eye, it looks like I died here, but it was actually all part of my master plan. See, you can perish in an inglorious ghostly killing and still earn the achievement, vastly cutting down the time it takes to unlock it. You don't even have to try. I am a supreme genius. For those of you out there who would rather eat ants covered in fire than play a horror game, getting this achievement is thankfully very speedy. Emily Wants to Play is all about horrible dolls and toys jumping out and screaming in your face, which I don't really know why anyone would want to experience by choice, as I'm just here for those sweet, sweet Chivos. I do warn you though, I still managed to get two jump scares. One including after leaving my controller unattended for a bit, which triggered a toy from the depths of hell itself to come and scream in my face. Maybe turn down the sound for this one, because if you're as much of a wimp as I am, you're gonna have a horrible time. All you want to do once you load up the new game is to leg it through the door on your right. Head left down the corridor and go through the door at the end. Go up to the light on the wall and press on it. A secret basement will open up. Yep, Emily definitely had some strange parents. Once you wander down there, the achievement will pop. I warn you though, this will also happen. Yeah, sorry about that. Now, when it comes to football games, I'm not one to rake in the achievements. Unsurprisingly, my FIFA achievements are pretty sparse. Well, they're non-existent. Thankfully, Active Soccer 2 DX offers an incredibly easy achievement to get. Pick a couple of teams, choosing one as an AI if you're like me and have no friends. Watch this incredible intro as your valiant team strides out to conquer all. And that's it. You've kicked off a game, so the 100G pops up. I mean, I'd like to say I carried on playing, absolutely destroying the other team and eventually taking Benny on in a FIFA game where I win with a frankly outstanding 5-0 score, but I turned it off once I got the achievement and went back to Assassin's Creed. Yeah, no surprises there. It's time now for what is without a doubt the weirdest achievement on our list. To get the L Street Boys achievement in Goat Simulator's MMO DLC, you have to join a harmonious choir by barring. That description doesn't do it justice, and nor does my barring. First, visit the town of Alvesta, which is the place with all the trees to the northwest of the map. To make it easier, give yourself a jetpack by selecting the mutator before the world loads. But before you question the existence of a jetpack in what is clearly a medieval society, remind yourself that nothing in this game makes any sense. In this hut, you'll find a gaggle of guys lying on the floor. They are none other than the Elf Street Boys, live and in the flesh. Hit left bumper and you'll let out your best bah, while somewhat troublingly sharing them in dollar bills. That gives an awkward connotation to the dynamic here, See ya fellas, I've got a bad feeling about this. Earning 100G in this post-apocalyptic but nice adventure is as easy as getting high. And by that, I mean climbing a crane so massive that you can see your house from the top. Or you would be able to if everything wasn't submerged. Oh, submerged. Yeah, I get it now. So up we go to grab our achievement. Wow, that's a big ladder. It's like that one in Metal Gear Solid 3, but without the cool music. That's all right, I'll just make my own. Climbing the ladder up towards my dreams. Ooh, climbing the ladder of dreams. Yeah, ladder. Woo, I reached the top and got my achievement with seconds to spare. 
What a nice view. You could add locations to the map from here. Now it's time to leave and grind my hands down to the bone in the process. Whee! God, that's got a sting. So there we have it, a load of achievements that can get you some nice easy gamer score. Do make sure to let us know down in the comments below if we've missed any. And also if you are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button so you never miss out on another video. And don't forget to hit that like button if you enjoyed this video and check out last week's list video too. We'll see you next time. Bye! Bye.